Hey guys, and welcome to Space Tainment. In today's video, we're going to look at a mind-boggling image of the Tarantula Nebula taken by the James Webb Space Telescope. Please help us grow by liking and subscribing. Let us know in the comments what type of videos you'd like to see on this channel. Let's get started with the video we have for you today. Webb has revealed new details of Stellar Nursery 30 Doradus, known as the Tarantula Nebula. In this mosaic image stretching 340 light years across, Webb's near infrared camera, or NIR cam, displays the Tarantula Nebula star forming region in a new light, including tens of thousands of never before seen young stars that were previously shrouded in cosmic dust. The James Webb Space Telescope has delivered a spectacular and unprecedented view of a star forming region known as the Tarantula Nebula. A combination of the James Webb Space Telescope's high-resolution infrared instruments reveals thousands of never-before-seen young stars in the stellar nursery, formerly named 30 Doradus. The incredible new detail picked up by the $10 billion Space Telescope shows gas and dust in the nebula, as well as distant background galaxies. NASA's largest and most powerful space science telescope will probe the cosmos to uncover the history of the universe from the Big Bang to alien planet formation and beyond. It's one of NASA's great observatories, huge space instruments that include the likes of the Hubble Space Telescope to peer deep into the cosmos. But before we get too far into the video, let's discuss what nebulas are. Nebula is a Latin word meaning cloud, but in an astronomical context, it refers to any celestial object which appears cloud-like when viewed through a telescope. When telescopes weren't as powerful as they are today, this term encompassed galaxies such as our neighbor Andromeda, which was often referred to as the Andromeda Nebula. Located 2.5 million light-years from Earth, Andromeda is the closest large neighbor to our galaxy, the Milky Way. It is thought to have had a number of interactions with other galaxies and globular clusters, forming structures such as Andromeda's giant stellar stream. However, with the benefit of modern telescopes, we know that galaxies aren't cloud-like at all, but are made up of billions of stars. This means astronomers now reserve the word nebula for genuine clouds of gas and dust located inside our own galaxy. Now that you know what nebulas are, let's get back into these superb new details and the image means Doradus 30, initially nicknamed Tarantula for its spider-like appearance, can now be seen to also resemble a burrowing tarantula's lair, lined with silk. A side-by-side -side display of the same region of the Tarantula Nebula brings out the distinctions between Webb's near-infrared and mid-infrared. The photo is the latest in a series of stunning images released from JWST, which launched on Christmas Day 2021 and released its first pictures in July. Recent images included a perfectly formed Einstein ring, a near-perfect Einstein ring from the galaxy J0418, which we will discover in another video. The Tarantula Nebula is located 161,000 light years away in the Large Magellanic Cloud and is the brightest star forming region in the galaxies nearest to our Milky Way, collectively known as the Local Group. At about 160,000 light years from Earth, the dwarf galaxy looks like a faint cloud in southern hemisphere skies. It lies on the border of the constellations Dorado and Mensa. Both the LMC and its companion, the Small Magellanic Cloud, or SMC, are named after the explorer Ferdinand Magellan. While astronomers in the Southern Hemisphere saw these clouds before Magellan's round-the-world voyage in 1519, the explorer and his crew were the first to bring that knowledge to the Western world. Magellan's discovery of the LMC and SMC predated telescopes, but even after the instruments allowed Galileo and astronomers in the 17th century to get a closer look, it was still several hundred years before scientists could accurately calculate the distance to the LMC, the SMC, and other nearby galaxies. Magellan died in the Philippines during that voyage, but his crew provided documentation of the discovery upon their return to Europe. The nebula is of special interest to astronomers studying how stars form. The nebula has a similar type of chemical composition as star-forming regions from when the cosmos was only a few billion years old, thus offering a unique insight into how stars formed in the deep cosmic past. The James Webb Space Telescope is releasing some pretty mind-boggling images from our universe. What are your thoughts on the Tarantula Nebula, and why do you think it's named that? Leave a comment below! If you got value from the video, drop a like and make sure you're subscribed to Spacetainment with notifications so you never miss a new video. We'll see you smart people in the next one.